Well, ever since the governor's resignation announcement, a big question has been whether and how the impeachment investigation would continue. Today, we found out it won't continue. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. That news came today from Albany, where lawmakers say this was not a political decision. They claim it was one that they had to make legally. And they added if it had been able to continue, the governor would likely have been impeached. Now, some members of the Judiciary Committee, though, say they were simply blindsided today. Two on your sides, Dave McKinley is in the Information Center with more for us tonight. David? Uh, good evening, Scott. The head of the Assembly Judiciary Committee, which was conducting the impeachment investigation and the Assembly Speaker, both Democrats like Governor Cuomo, said there were basically two reasons to end the investigation. Cuomo resigned in disgrace after an attorney general's report concluded he'd sexually harassed several women. But the impeachment inquiry also involved handling of COVID in nursing homes and the cover-up of the number of deaths in the facilities and whether or not he broke laws by using state resources to produce a book on the state's handling of the COVID crisis for which he was paid $5 million. Now you will hear from three members of that Judiciary Committee, two Republicans and a Democrat. But it's also important that the Judiciary Committee does release the findings of our investigation over the last five months. It's very important. Millions of dollars were spent on this. There are facts on many other issues. At the same time, we're going to prevent the public from ever knowing the results. Uh, it's just, it seems to be just wrong, just absolutely wrong. Our attorneys have spoken to dozens and dozens of witnesses and reviewed thousands and thousands of pages. Um, and I think we owe it to the public and to those witnesses to uh, issue a report to show what our findings were. Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty says the information gleaned, though, through the work of the Judici Judiciary Committee will be forwarded to other relevant investigative authorities. Now, I told you there were basically two reasons for this, and this is what Speaker Heasty had to say. First, that the purpose of the Assembly Judiciary Committee's impeachment investigation was to determine whether Governor Cuomo should remain in office. Well, he resigned, so that takes care of question one. A second, he said that a legal counsel had advised of the belief that the state constitution does not authorize the legislature to impeach and remove an elected official who is no longer in office. As for where the incoming governor stands on this, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, now you might remember that in her news conference on Wednesday, she was asked about this and she said that it is the business of the state assembly to take care of this, whichever way they're going to move. She said the same thing in an interview on the Today Show on Thursday and indeed today, uh, a spokesperson for Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who will be the governor in less than two weeks, tells us that it was ultimately up to the assembly and the lieutenant governor respects their decision. In the newsroom, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Dave, thank you. Now that decision today set off some rather strong reactions on both sides of the aisle. Minority leader Rob Ord said the decision, quote, reeks of a shady deal to protect Andrew Cuomo, end quote, and called it a sham investigation, saying resignation is not accountability. Democratic Senator Sean Ryan says that he hopes the assembly releases all of the evidence uncovered over the last five months because public money funded it and taxpayers deserve to see what was found. And Lindsey Boylan, the first of the accusers to come forward, called the decision a, quote, unjust cop out in a tweet. She went on to say the public deserves to know the extent of the governor's misdeeds and possible crimes. His victims deserve justice and to know that he will not be able to harm others, end quote. We'll have a legal expert on to talk about the decision coming up on tonight's town hall at 530.